Spider Geddon number one comes out this week, and we probably should talk about it. All right, so Spider Geddon number one comes out this week from Marvel Comics. This is the sequel to the Spider Verse. We got Christos Gage as the writer, Jorge Molina is on art, David uh, Carell is on colors, and Travis. Lenham is on the letters. And this is a very, very gorgeous book. This book is, oh, muy, muy bonita. I love it so much. The color is amazing. It's, whew, it's so good. That being said, how many people, raise your hands if you think that Spider Again is a cash grab. Sorry guys, I just that's I, you guys know what it is. It's 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 not maximum car. It's I can't even say it. It's not maximum carnage craziness, but like you know, like hey, how can we make a few bucks off of uh, Spider Verse a little bit more? For me, the issue, the biggest issue with this is the Spider Verse was created by Dan Slott, who I'm not a friend of. I just apologize. Just him and I are not friends. Um, but the Spider Verse was created to slaughter, slaughter, let's get this out of the room, to slaughter Spider-Men and Spider-Women and Spider-Pigs and Spider-Animals, Spider-Robots, whatever spider thing you can think of is out there. Dan Slott's like, I want to slaughter it all. And so it's a gimmick. The premise is a gimmick to be like, hey, I want to slaughter as many spider people as possible. And then I'll wrap a story around it. And so that's what they had with the Spider-Verse. Um, luckily, this time around, uh, Gage is writing this one. And I wrote a review of Superior Octopus last week. Um, because one of our writers was six. And, and he's like, ah, I need somebody else to review this. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll read it. I was like, I thought this was the dumbest concept in the world. But Gage put together, like... Such an impressive story with Doc Ock and the Superior Octopus. Like, the story at heart had meaning, like, and plus, like, he's, like, house. So he's, like, super arrogant and super condescending. And I was like, oh, my God, this is a brilliant book. And it's in the dumbest spinoff setting ever, but I'm still, like, it's so brilliant. And so I was a huge fan of what Kristoff, I want to call him Kristoff, I'm sorry, uh, Christos, uh, my wife, my, my daughter watches, um, Frozen. So Christoph is just the word that comes out. Um, after New Year Comic Con, after working all weekend long, I'm a little sick, so I gotta take a little grandpa's medicine. Losing the voice. Losing the voice. <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep this one kind of short. spider Geddon is good. The artwork is amazing. The panels are done well. The colors are good well. I got like a panel up right here. And I'm like, oh, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to spoil the book for you. Um, oh, man, it's so good. It's so juicy. It's so juicy. <laughs> I'm kind of giddy with it. Um, but no, it's, it's a good starter to the book. But what I'm most excited about is that Superior Octopus is the is the is one of the main characters in it. Because he puts a foil to thing Like, he puts a foil in the mechanism of it because the inheritors they don't want to kill him so i mean like it's it's so because it, he does nothing for him so like he's that like little cog in the wrench that's going to like make it very interesting um yeah so i'm trying to think of it uh everybody gets slaughtered um the only other thing i'm worried about is like you, you read this thing and you're like how long till peter barker shows up and like saves the day that's like my big question. It's like, all right, so how many, how many issues is this? And like, he might show up issue four, somewhere around there and be like, oh, okay guys, I'll help you out. So that was kind of, that was kind of interesting. Um, uh, what else we got? It's uh, Dr. Octopus, Spider-Verse, Alter Reality. Yeah, I mean, this is the biggest thing is, it was an interesting first issue, but with some amazing art, some amazing colors and just, lot of texture. I always seem to use the word texture when I'm talking about a comic book because like 
Now with like modern day coloring, you can just, you can expand it and make it 3D and it's like wow. And there's your colors and I just screwed up my camera. Oh man, I, I man, I, I, I was hating on this book so much. And then I was like, ah, oh, Gage is writing it. And he's gonna put a good story around it. And, and the art, Jorge, oof. Cause he inks his stuff too. I'm just like looking at it and there's so much detail. And there's just, ah, oh, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, so I highly recommend this book. I highly recommend spider Gen because, because I highly recommend this book because Dan Slott is not writing this book. That's why I recommend it. If Dan Slott was reading this book, I'd be like, nope, done. But since Gage is writing it and I read Superior Spider-Man, I was like, oh my God, this guy's got good ideas. And Superior Spider-Man number one ties into this. So like, get that book, read it, then read this. And you're like, what? I mean like, ah. Not really. I mean, we're not we're we're not mind blown here. This is this is going to be an action packed book where like spider people get slaughtered. Like that's, that's the point of Spider Geddon in the Spider Verse is like, hey, let's just get as many spider people. And we're just, again, I'm repeating myself. But the artwork is amazing. The intro, the setup is perfect. I'm just again, I'm looking at this one panel and I just want to talk about it and I can't talk about it with you. Um, but I'm really so excited for you to read a book. And what I want you to do is after you get done reading it, come back here, tell me what you thought about it. Um, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Matt Sardo. This is Monkey's Fighting Robots. Um, I'm trying to think of my, my score of this book. I'm going to definitely give the art like a 4.5. And the colors, it's like, it's like a 4. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Lettering. You know what's funny is this is the first time that I'm going to say... Um, I, I really like the fact that they used a character's logo in the lettering. I normally hate it to death. I hate it so much, so much, I hate it. Um, but here it works really well because they introduce all the characters that are in it, all the different Spider-Man people, animals, all that stuff, and they have normal, normal fonts. And then when the superior octopus is like, I'm the superior octopus, it's bam. It's the logo right in your face, like bam. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Because now I'm in superior octopus mode and he's so condescending that he would have the logo in your face and be like, yeah, that's my logo. I want to say obnoxious things uh, that are not safe for work, but I'm not going to say or not say, yeah, but I'm not going to say it. But that's what I'm saying is that that's what Dr. Ospos was thinking about when he like tosses the logo in your face. Dr. Octopus. All right, so, so we got a 4.5 on our, four on the lettering, four on the colors, and a four on the story. So, cause I'm not there yet. You gotta like, you gotta give me more story in this uh, gauge. That's where I'm at. So if we do so we're like a 4.1 out of five stars, that's pretty good, you know, 8.2. It's a little above average. I mean, you got, I mean, I'm a hard grader. Like, this is my job. My job is to critique comic books. Like, I'm just gonna be tossing out tens. Who's gonna be tossing out perfect score of all time? Like, come on, seriously, is this the best book ever? No, it's not the best book ever. It's a really enjoyable book. Yeah, it's an enjoyable book. I totally enjoyed it. Oh man. All right, so read the book and then come back on Thursday or come back Wednesday night and hop on the YouTubes and be like, hey man, I thought this book was amazing. So, all right guys, you're the internet. I'm Matt Sardo. I will see you guys next week.